The parade featured uniform groups, including members of the Antigua Barbuda Defense Force Air Wing, the Antigua and Barbuda Coast Guard, and the Royal Police Force of Antigua and Barbuda. Also present were students from the Sir McChesney George Secondary School and the Holy Trinity Primary School. Featured Speaker, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Barbuda Affairs, Senator Nassinton Ned Charles, called for unity for the advancement of the Swin Island Nation. Educators, healthcare workers, counselors, community leaders, government officials, and even you, the citizens of Antigua and Barbuda, who have committed to our progress. Your contributions are all invaluable. And it is you who have embodied the promise of our theme today, from community collaboration to global gains. As we celebrate, let us recommit ourselves to nurturing this spirit of community collaboration. National Youth Ambassador Ezekiel Francois delivered the charge to the youth. In the next seven years, I'm calling upon every single person in Barbuda, let us make Barbuda be better than what it is now. Yeah. I said we have a start, we're making a start. I see we have the airport, we see we have other things. I hear that the Prime Minister saying a lot of great things. However, let us not only see development as infrastructure development, I want to see more development for our youth. He told the audience he envisions the day when students on Barbuda can receive a tertiary education without having to leave the island. Meanwhile, Orlando Morris, who gave the welcome remarks, reflected on the strides that Barbuda has made since gaining independence, particularly post-2014. I welcome you to reflect on the fact from 2014 until present, that the economic fortunes of Barbudans has increased dramatically. That increase is due to the programs implemented by the ABLP government and council. Antigua and Barbuda is celebrating its 43rd anniversary of independence. Myrtle Bruno Hodge for ABS News.